hello guys welcome to my channel oktests.com and today i am going to discuss about how we can call api from an api using rest sharp and rest client so the first of all what we need to do we need to install the rest sharp so to install the rest sharp I will right click on my project where I need to install and from there I will go to manage nugget packages and from here in the browse section I will search for rest sharp and you can see this is the rest sharp and I will install it so once I will click on install so you can see here in the output window it will ask my permission and I will click on OK and that's all now the rest stop is installed ok so now I will close this and then here I will put my code to call the API so first of all before calling the API I would like to show you this the get API what I am going to call initially the first call so here you can see this is the test api json placeholder dot type code dot com website and this all api are just for the testing purpose so i once i will click on send then i will receive this output so now i will call the same api using the c sharp and rest sharp so i will go here in the notepad plus plus here i have already written the code and I will copy this written code from here and I will paste it here in Visual Studio so I need to replace this because I have already already written the OK return okay and from here I need to add the namespace I will choose this one using rest sub and now you can see now error is removed and now I will click on IS Express to run my project. You can see now that our project is running. So I will go to Postman here, and this is the Get API, and this is the .NET Core API. What I am going to use to call this Get API, the Test API. Okay. So now I will go here in the Get API, and here you can see this is the Call API and here you can see this is the same and the con at, at the controller level I have added the account this one and now I will, I will click on send and once I will click on send then you can see the it has reached to the breakpoint and from here I will go stop step by step so you can see now this is created the rest client and now it is going to call the api but you can see this is the just the base url right and here this is the resource url the remaining url and this is the method type get what i have passed and i have also passed that this is the the data format should be the json and from here the next line 495 line uh, actually the 494 line is uh, at line 494 here I am creating the request and at line number 495 I will call the API with this request so I will again step over and you can see now it is calling the API and you can see in the content uh, the expected output has come and now here you can see the response so this is the same response what I was expect expecting so this is you can see we, I am also getting the same response here and also I got the same response from here so like this you can call the any get API right so these are the just three lines to call the API using the rest client okay and now I will call 
the post api so here i already have written the code here and i will copy it from here and i will just replace the code so first let me stop this and now i will replace this code so now from the same api i am going to call the post api and here is only few things are different from the get api here i am going to use or send the request body and this is the new object what i am creating with the three properties and this is the resource uri what will come after this in the postman and this is the method type post and data format is the same and also here i am adding the request json body as a request body and from this this line i am calling the api so now again let me run my project here and meanwhile let me go to the postman and here this is the post api what i will call so you can see there are, are three properties here in the request body and once i will call this then you can see i am getting this response and i should get again the same response from this get api because internally that get api i am calling calling the post api and you can see this is the resource here this one is the resource and rest are the base url so let me check whether project is running okay it's loading now you can see now once again our project is running and i will go here in the get api to call the post api in from this api so now again i will click on send and it should now hit the breakpoint so you can see now it has hit the breakpoint and again i will go step by step from here so you can see the new rest client has been created and now also i just created the request uh, request object and here from this line from 502 line i am creating the request body or the actual request so you can see here all the things are just uh, discussed and this request i am passing in the parameter of client dot execute async because this method is going to call the api and now i will again do the step over and you can see now api has been called successfully so you can see the status code is created and i will click on continue and you can see here we will see the same response as expected so you can match this one with this one okay so now i am able to call the api successfully from a, a api which i have created in dot net core and in the same way again let me stop this and this time i will call the put api and again here i have the written code so i will just copy from here and paste it and then i will explain so i have copied here from here and here i will paste it so yeah so here i have again changed the source code so here you can see this is one new property here id in the put api and here this is the new resource so let me first show you the same api by calling from the postman so here is the put api and you can see there are four parameters let me change here one zero one okay and i will click on send and here in the response you can see this is the api response so and this is the resource for the put api so i have done the same thing here in the code and here i have taken the four, four properties here and this is the same resource for the put api and here just one modification here method i have passed here as put and again here i need to add the json body so again 
execute a sync I am using to call the API and the API will be called on the basis of method and the request body so let me again run this project here you can see our project is running once again and now I will go to I will go to postman and I will again call this get API I will click on send and it should reach to the breakpoint so you can see it has reached to the breakpoint and I will do step over one by one so you can see the object is created client is also created and now request is also created and here it is calling the API so I will uh, I will add all this code and the notepad file in the in the description section you can find the link over there and you can go ahead and download the same source code from there and just you can re reuse the same thing in your project okay so now I will click on continue so you can see this is the response and I am getting the same response as I should get because I am returning the same response what I am getting from the API and I am returning the same response from our API as well as here you can see and now let me then go ahead and stop this and this time this is the last API what I am going to call and this API is going to be the delete API and I will call this delete API from this get API and this API is created in .NET Core and this is a test API which is already running on the server so here again you can see this is the resource and this is the base URL star the base URL and on the basis of that I am going to call and here let me click on send so you can see I got the 200 ok status and I in the in the res response body I am getting empty object so here again I will go ahead in the notepad because I, I am already having the code written here so here I from here I will copy this and I will paste the code here so again and you can see in the delete request there are nothing or not a not a very huge thing here need to do here just need to call or write three line of code to call the api the delete api in the same way as we were calling the get api so again i will click on is express to run the project once again you can see our api is running and now I will go to postman and from here I will call this get API and after clicking on send the break it should reach the breakpoint and you can see it has come to the breakpoint and from here again I will do one by one step over and you can see first I call created the client then created the request with the method delete you can see this is a this is the thing which I need to change and also this one and rest everything is same and again I will do a step over and now it is calling the API so the main thing what rest, rest or rest client or rest app provides is the better control to view the request and response in terms of calling the API so you can see here this is the resource URI this is the complete URI and what what are the request what I we are sending will come here in the request section and you can see currently I am not sending any request so so therefore you can see the body is null okay and you can see here the request format is still the JSON and there are no parameter here and the re the response you can see here in the content section but currently in the context section content section you can see there are the empty object here which is coming in the content and there that's what that's what that's the region i am getting the content from the response and i am returning that content because whatever i am getting from the api i am returning the same from our api from this one from this api okay so now i will click on continue because uh here I have called the APS very well successfully and you can see I got the 200 status here and I got the object 
here the expected result I am getting here so like this you can call all these four type of API get put post and delete API from an API using the rest sharp so that's all in this video guys thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe our channel and let me know if you have any queries or comments in the comment section below I will be really happy to help